I'm doing this video for whoever it is at ACT that's going to watch this because um, I don't think you're going to be able to see it in pictures. Matter of fact, you probably won't even be able to see it on video, but if you guys, with all your equipment, I'm sure you've got a, a test stand where you're going to bolt this down and look at it. But you, the fingers, you know, the, the diaphragm fingers at like, oh, 12, 1, and 2 are low, and then at like 5, 6, 7, and 8, they're high. And so the issue that we were having, and that he was having, was a chirping sound, and when I looked under the hood, the throwout arm was wobbling side to side, so you could tell that the uh, throwout bearing, that the, that the fingers were, you know, not even all the way around because the throwout bearing was obviously riding on an uneven surface. The arm was wobbling, so, uh, you know, this is the first time I've seen this, and I've probably put on a hundred ACT pressure plates. Uh, I suggested he get this one, and he, did, you know, he didn't even get 10,000 miles on it, and now we're taking it out, so. I don't even figure you guys would give him much of a hard time, but still, I wanted to make a video anyway. I'm going to go above and see if you can see the angle I'm talking about. Oh, man. And this car is like bone stock, naturally aspirated car. He's not racing it or sidestepping the clutch or anything. It's, uh, he just drives it. <laughs> even at that, I mean, I have multiple... 500 horsepower S2000s that have you guys' clutch on them and uh, they beat them and they never have a problem and 100,000 miles so this isn't fluke or something I'm pretty sure so anyway I still don't think you can see it but you can see the pressure plate the, the way it's crooked and that's all torque to factory specs and stuff I mean you know I've been wrenching a long time okay there's a video hope that helps late